Hey, YouTube family, it is so great to be back here with you on the mat. Thank you so much for joining me for this Pilates flow today. So I really hope you enjoy this mat Pilates class. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please join us. It would be great to have you join the community. I am doing this Matt Pilates class today as a little intro and a little launch to our new six week summer sizzle plan. This launches on Sunday, the 3rd of July, this Sunday coming. And for six weeks, my members on my online community will receive four videos every week. So there'll be a 30 minute Matt Pilates class, a 10 minute booty burn, a 15 minute core workout and a 20 minute yoga stretch. And that will be every week for six weeks. So if you'd like to join us for that, please head over to our online membership. I'll put all the details in the comments below. It's £8.99 a month and there is no contract. So you can cancel at any time you want to. So yeah, enough about that. Come and join us, pilatesandyogawithjade.com. And now we will get started. So let's begin team on all fours today. So we're going to come slowly and make our way onto our hands and our knees. So let's take a moment to make sure our hands are directly underneath our shoulders and our knees are directly underneath our hips. Lengthen through the spine, try not to drop the head and draw the belly button in towards the back so we are active through our core. We begin with a cat and cow. So inhale as you tilt the pelvis, start to take the eye line forwards and exhale as we curve the back, push away from the ground as we bring the chin towards the chest. So we inhale as we open up through the chest, start to make space through the lower back and then exhale as we press away from the ground, curve the back and bring the chin to the chest. Now we'll unravel. I invite you to take your hands over towards the right. So the hands just come off the mat onto a diagonal. And then we take our cat and cow here. So we're still cat and cowing the spine. Now we're feeling this open up more through the left side of the body, through the left rib cage, moving with your breath at your own pace. Once you feel happy here, We'll then gently move our hands over towards the left. So we're coming over to the left diagonal now. And once again, inhaling as we open the chest and exhaling as we curve off and round the spine. So a lovely movement, breathing into the right rib cage, exploring, observing your body for this part of the time on the mat. And then slowly bring those hands back to center. Gently find a child's pose. So lead with the bottom extending the arms forwards and allowing the forehead to come down towards the ground. Let's take a gorgeous breath here in between the shoulder blades. Exhale as we fold down deeper into the pose and inhale as we breathe across the lower back as well. And once again, exhale as you settle further into the pose. Then we ripple, we're gonna lift the bottom and curve the body forwards as we unravel into a half high plank. Ensure the shoulders are over the wrists and we lift the head, lengthen through the entire spine. Lead with the bottom, making our way back into our child's pose. So curving the back, chin to the chest, and then unravel, draw the belly to the spine, shoulder blades together, and then slowly start to lead back. This time, let's all come together into that half plank. So bring yourself forwards, unravel the spine. And then if you're able to, tucking the toes under, peeling the knees off and finding a full high plank here, strong through the shoulders, soft through the elbows. Now I'm gonna lead with the bottom, bend the knees, coming into a hovered child's pose. Don't let the knees touch the ground. And then curve the body again, ripple forwards, unravel, find that full high plank. And again, bend the knees, bring the bottom back, finding a hovered child's pose, and then press off, curve the back, unravel. Let's all pause together in our high plank. Slowly coming down onto the knees, uncurling the toes, and finding your way into your child's pose once again. From here in our child's pose, taking both hands over towards the right, left hand goes on top of right hand in our child's pose, but with a gorgeous side stretch at the same time. Take a breath out, really press both shoulder blades towards the ground and then slowly creep those hands through center. Take both hands over to the left. Your right hand goes on top of your left and then really breathe into that right rib cage, feeling that space opening up. 
carefully make your way back through to center. Now this time, walk your hands in towards your knees as you peel your body up. Once you get here, tucking our toes under and then use your hands to lift the knees and we're in a little toe balance here. On both toes, heels are lifted. Slowly, we're going to lengthen the legs, ground down through the heels and arrive in a standing forward fold. Taking hold of your forearms, bending the knees as generously as you need to and pause here. Let the head, the shoulders drop. Feel that space through the back of the legs. And then releasing the arms, keeping the chin on the chest. Gently ground down through the feet and peel your way up to standing. So pressing away from the ground, finding our posture, knees over ankles, hips over knees, shoulders over hips, and head over heart. So when you're ready, I'm going to slowly step the right foot forwards. Have a little fidget here, making sure we're setting up for a lunge. So the back left heel is lifted, pulling up strong through the right thigh, soften the shoulders away from the ears. Both hips and chest are facing the top end of the mat. We're going to find a low lunge here as we sweep the arms forwards, bending both knees. Now, as I push off the left leg for a T-shape, I take the right arm forwards and the left leg back okay I'm going to show you this again I step the left foot down bend both knees as we find a lunge keep the chest lifted here and then press off the left foot finding a t-shape left arm goes back right arm comes forwards let's see if we can do this twice more so coming into your lunge keep the shoulders over the hips finding your balance as you press off the back leg and find those toy shoulder arms as the right arm goes forwards the left arm goes back one more time, finding that lunge, keeping the chest up, and then pressing off, finding our T-shape, lengthen, extend, and then slowly step the left foot down. Let's bring the right leg back, have a little fidget, a little shake out with the legs, slowly stepping the left foot forwards. Take time to reset. Right heel is lifted, strong through the left, pull up through the upper body. We are facing the top end of our mat, and then we lunge, bending both knees. Now, as I come forwards, I lift the left arm forwards, the right arm goes back with the right leg. So I'm gonna step the right foot down, lunging as I keep the chest up here, and then pushing off, finding the balance, keeping the body square, parallel to the ground. Please make sure in your lunges, your front knee never goes over the front toes. Very important there. And we're finding our balance, not worrying if we wobble. We all wobble <laughs> and that's okay. It's how you deal with the wobbles that changes us, that makes us. Let's try this one more time if you're able to. Last one here. And then once we have done our T-shape, we're gonna step the right foot to the left now so that we're at the top of the mat. Have a little fidget, little wriggle. Bring the feet to hip distance. Inhale, grow tall. Find a big standing full body stretch. Now Pilates, roll down. Lead with the arms, chin to the chest. Curve the body, sigh it out. Bend those knees, fold yourself all the way over. Once again, holding those forearms, framing the head and pausing here. Shift that weight forwards into your toes. Lift the hips high. Release any tension, any negativity here. And then gently bring the hands down. Generously bend your knees so you're coming all the way onto your bottoms. And then our feet are grounded, our knees are bent, taking hold of behind the thighs. Roll the shoulders down the back, find that space. I'm gonna slowly lift the heels, start to roll like a ball. I tuck my tailbone under, roll through the spine and pause at the top. Please make sure in your rolling like a ball, you're keeping your chin on your chest. You're keeping your back curved. And we're making sure there's no thudding here through the spine. A lovely way to massage out the back. When you get to the top, can you pause and straighten one leg? And then make sure you get that tailbone roll before you come to the top and extend the other. So we're rolling like a ball to release through the spine. And then finding a little V-sit prep here. Try and open the chest and lengthen the spine as you straighten the leg. Remember to have a little bit of fun with your practices. Explore, observe, 
and enjoy your time on the mat to be aware of your body, your space, your breath, and your mind. Let's all meet at the top. When you are ready, slowly I'm gonna make my way over onto the left hand side, left shin coming to the front of the mat, right shin going to the side of the room. Reset so the shoulders are away from the ears and try and ground down through the bottom. We're gonna sweep the left arm over, take a gorgeous side bend here, and then windmill up and over as we come onto the left forearm and reach the right arm, right leg. So we bend into the knee as we find that side bend, open up through the left rib cage, and then sweep over, bring the forearm down as we extend. One more time here. So working through the side body, making some space, and then sweeping over, pause here in this side lift. So extend the right leg and the right arm, press away from the left forearm, tiny little pulses with the right leg, bounce, bounce, bounce. So try to pulse the leg, keeping everything else as stable and as strong as you can for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, to sweep yourself up, bring the right leg in front of you. Use your left hand to ease that right foot round. Try and ground down the foot and then wrap your left arm around the thigh. The right hand is going to come behind you as we twist and look over the right shoulder and have a little fidget to try to get your left bottom cheek on the ground. So a lovely seated twist here. Find space through the spine and space between the shoulders and the ears. Gorgeous work, guys. Let's unravel and let's find our way to this posture on the other side. So we're gonna bring the right leg in front of us now, the left chin facing the side. Take a moment to reset, to find that space, and then inhale, the right arm's coming up and over. And then exhale as we bring the forearm down and lift left arm and left leg. So sweeping over, find the space. And then sweeping back, try not to collapse into the forearm and try to lengthen through the left side body. So all the while we're engaging the abdominals and we're moving with the breath. Let's pause here. Extend left arm, left leg, tiny pulses. Bounce, bounce. So keeping the knee facing forwards. Big gap between the right rib cage and the ground for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. As you come up, sweep the left leg in front of you. Use the right hand to get that foot onto the ground. Wrap the right arm down that thigh, sorry, and make sure your bottom is coming onto the floor. Use the left hand behind you. Press away from the ground. Look over the left shoulder. Go really tall and breathe space awareness into the left hip into the glute, all the way around into the lower back, and try to open through heart center as we open up through the spine. Let's open out, come over onto your bottoms when you're ready. Please make sure you have the space of the mat behind you. And then with or without the use of the hands, we're gonna make our way all the way down onto our backs. Feet flat on the floor here, arms down by your side. So take a moment to reset, press the head, the shoulders into the ground, start to draw the belly in towards the back. We're going to hug the right knee in towards the chest team. So pull in the right knee in towards the chest, feel the back coming in towards the ground. And then the left leg is going to lift to tabletop. So the knee is over the hip. We breathe out as we extend the left leg to a point of hover. And then inhale as we bring that left leg back in. Here we go, we exhale, extend the left leg away, find that hover and inhale as you bring it back in. So really think about drawing the belly towards the spine, looking after that lower back here, keeping the head and shoulders completely rested and opening up through the hip flexor, through that thigh. Breathing out as you lengthen and inhaling as you bring it in. Let's do this one more time. And then as we straighten the left leg, we're gonna extend, lower that left leg down onto the ground. Hug the right leg in a little bit closer. And then we'll take the right arm out to the side. Use the left hand and gently bring this right leg across the body for a twist. 
So I'm easing the right leg across. Please make sure you're pressing both shoulder blades into the ground here, opening up through the chest, resetting our posture. And then we'll come back through to center, pop that right foot down and slowly bring the left leg in. Have a moment to reset your body before inviting the left knee in, hug that left knee into the chest, press the shoulders, the back, the head firmly into the mat. Feel that security, that safety beneath you. The right leg comes to tabletop. Please make sure the heel is away from the bottom. We breathe out as we single extend the right leg and inhale as we bring it back into center. So this is working our lower abdominals, our pelvic floor area. So really try and zip up, make sure we're engaging from the belly button down, building that strong lower abdominal area to support our lower back, to help us with our posture, with our alignment. Taking your time and only going as far as you feel comfortable. Very important to listen to your body and to try not to rush the movements. Slow it down, feel that precision. Feel that length, that space, that control. Let's extend the right leg, leave that right leg on the ground. Hug the left leg in a little bit closer and then the left arm comes out to the side. We use the right hand to bring this left leg across the body, ease it over and keep ensuring both shoulder blades are pressing into the mat at the same time. Beautiful work team. Let's come back to center, bend both knees once again. Have a moment to reset, ensure the feet are flat, the knees are parallel. We're gonna interlace the hands, cup the hands behind the head, elbows wide. A basic abdominal crunch, exhale as we lift and inhale as we lower. So we exhale, we're not pulling the head, we're supporting the head with the hands. We are drawing the belly down towards the ground as we lift sliding the ribs down towards the hips and we're using our out breath to help us scoop and hollow the belly let's see if we're able to find an abdominal hold so i'm going to stay here elbows are wide chin is away from the chest i lift a little march left foot up and down right foot up and down i'm going left and right left and right tiny little marches with the feet I'm peeling up heel, toe, toe, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel. We're trying to keep our body stable, keep that alignment, keep that control with the belly. And if you start to sink, have a little fidget, get those shoulder blades in the upper back off the ground. Eye line is looking through the legs. Scoop and hollow here for four, for three, elbows wide for two. And for one, bring the head down, reach those arms overhead if you can, backs of the hands on the floor, leaving the arms there, a bridge roll. We press our back into the mat, lift the bottom, push through the feet as you peel your hips up, open up through the entire front chain of the body here. And then leaving the arms there, let's try and ripple through the spine, reset the back, realign the vertebrae, rolling until the bottom touches the ground last. One more time, press the back into the mat, exhale as you lift the bottom, ground down through the heels, peel your weight all the way up, high bridge, open, 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 and rolling down, realign, reset, reconnect as you make your way down onto the mat, leave the arms there, let's straighten the legs, a full body stretch, take a big breath in here and exhale as we roll up, we lead with the arms, chin comes to the chest. Draw the belly towards the spine as you peel yourself up, stack the shoulders over the hips, inhale and exhale as we reach forwards, finding a seated forward fold, taking a moment to lengthen the legs, to exhale as you fold the body over, to let the head drop heavy, the shoulders to soften, the elbows to bend, and to just feel that gorgeous space opening up through the backs of the legs. Maybe once we're here, we can flex our feet at the same time. Notice the change there through the calves, the Achilles heels possibly. And then softening the feet, carefully peeling the body up as we bend our knees, finding our way into a cross-legged seated pose if that's okay for you. You might like to sit onto a pillow, a cushion, if that feels better. Take a moment to open up the hips. Maybe have a little wriggle there through the hips, the lower body. Coming into a gorgeous shoulder roll as we reset this posture, 
making sure there's space through the spine and the shoulders are stacked over the hips. Let those shoulders soften, maybe give them a little reset and then gently turning the head side to side, being aware of our neck alignment, taking a moment for our head to reset over our hearts bringing the head back through to center, feel that poise, feel that lift. And then inhale as we sweep the arms up, take a big gorgeous breath in and sigh it out through the mouth. <sighs> Beautiful session guys. I really hope you enjoyed that Matt Pilates class today. And I would love to have you come and join us for our six week summer sizzle. Don't forget our online membership, www.pilatesandyogawithjade.com. I'll see you soon.